Welcome to the Evolution project. Here inside Designer, as you can see, I have already opened up the evolution.nsf. Inside this NSF, you will find three X pages of interest. For the index page, there are two view panels included, as we can see here. So in the first view panel, when you click on a document link within the view column, at runtime, this will navigate you to the extended RTE X page versus in the second view panel, when you click on a document link at runtime within this view column, you will navigate to the standard RTE X page. So let me now describe the difference between the standard RTE and extended RTE X pages. So on the standard RTE X page, you have two instances of the rich text editor. versus the extended RTE, which is using this special Evo input rich text. So the evolution rich text editor. And again, notice how we have the visual display for the tag itself, but also down in the control palette, we now have a new category for the evolution rich text control. In terms of other resources of interest that are associated with this Evo input rich text, you should also look at the script libraries and the Java artifacts within this application. So for example, you will find an attachment dialog JS and an image dialog JS, along with a number of Java resources, as you can see here, input rich text bin, and so on. Also, if we took a look at the XSP markup for the extended RTE X page, you will find that as we traverse down through the XSP markup. There are some special client-side script blocks used. So as we can see here, we are defining new CK editor dialogues for attachments and images, and new commands for buttons that will go onto the toolbar of the CK editor. But in addition, we'll make use of the dialogues that we have defined. And there is also instantiation code when the page loads to properly configure each of the input rich text instances available on the page so that they have a proper AX target URL defined. Also note that for each of the special Evo input rich texts, there is also a special converter applied. Furthermore, the binding that is used for the control itself is of a special format, as we can see here, and it makes use of this RTE bin. And there is also a special Dojo attribute defined, which defines the extra plugins used for the attachment extension and the image extension. And there is also a special Dojo attribute to configure the toolbar so that we include our new attachment toolbar and extended image handling actions. When all of this is put together, if we just come away from Designer and take a look at the application running within my browser, what you have then is an application which shows you the index page, as we can see here, and allows you to create new documents or delete selected documents from either of the two view panels that we looked at earlier. For example, when I click on Create New, I am now navigated to the extended RTE X page, as we can see here. Furthermore, my rich text editor now provides me with two new commands, as we can see here. I now have the ability to create an inline attachment or embed an image using these two new toolbar actions. So for example, if I type in some text into the document, and let's imagine that I want to implant an inline attachment between those two words. Here I click on the toolbar action, and I'm presented with the attach a file dialog. So let's select a file and click on open and choose OK. And as we can see here, an inline attachment link is embedded within the text. Furthermore, let's also embed an image. So here in this example, we have overwritten the default image embedding dialog and provided our new dialog experience, as we can see here. And again, let's go ahead and choose an image, and I click OK. 
And as we can see here, it embeds the image within the document. So let's just go ahead now and save that particular document. So as we can see here, inside the two view panels that I described earlier, the bottom one will navigate me to the standard RTE. And in this case, because I'm using the standard RTE, which knows nothing about inline attachments, we can see that there is indeed a link exposed within the rich text editor. But if I click on the link, it simply doesn't do anything because the link is not recognized. Versus if I click inside the file download control, which it will allow me to open up and try and save that attachment. So basically, if we cancel and come back to the other view panel, which now navigates us to the extended RTE X page, we can now see that, again, we have a similar presentation. We have the rich text editor showing the text with the embedded inline attachment. And now notice the fact that there is an icon, plus we have the embedded image, of course, as we can see here. But more interestingly, in this particular example, if I now click on the inline attachment link, it now provides me with abilities to now save that particular inline attachment. Or, of course, I can also toggle the mode and go into edit mode. And I could, if I wanted, either remove the link and save the document again. Or, indeed, I could reposition the inline attachment and, of course, provide other inline attachments. And, of course, come back to the document. And as we can see here, again, my inline attachments are preserved within their new positions and so forth. So in summary, this particular application demonstrates how to extend an existing XPages control and provide it with new functionality or indeed override existing behavior. If you have found this OpenNTF Evolution project both useful and interesting, you will also be glad to hear that there is an upcoming Mastery in XPages second edition book for release later this year. This includes lots of new content based upon the Notes Domino 90 social edition. It has been rebased upon the Discussion 90 template and includes many standalone examples, such as what you have seen here within this Evolution project. The new second edition also covers web, XPink, and mobile platforms, including brand new chapters on mobile development, advanced performance optimization, debugging, and much, much more. It now weighs in at a hefty 1,100 pages and is a hardback superbook. And as I've just mentioned, it contains detailed explanations of advanced scripting and component extension mechanisms that have been used by this OpenNTF Evolution application and much, much more. And as I've also indicated, it is due for release later in 2013, but is available for pre-order on Amazon.com right now.